consider this idea of trigonometry. Is this a simple idea or is it an advanced idea? What is trigonometry? It is the application of arithmetics to geometry. Today when we consider trigonometry, it seems only too easy. But think about it. Whosoever thought of this science, this idea of exhibiting in arithmetical tables the ratios of the sides and angles of all possible triangles and not only that could do so and construct tables for their calculation, this person must be a genius. If you want a comparison, think of the genius of Hipparchus who suggested the application of arithmetic to ascertain those ratios among the sides and angles of figures which pure geometry had no way of expressing. So what John Playfair wants to say is that the development of trigonometry can only occur when science has already made extraordinary progress. So to find tables of trigonometry in a book as ancient as the Surya Siddhanta says quite a lot about how advanced Indian science must be even in 3500 BCE. So John Playfair says that the obliquity of the ecliptic is stated at 24 degrees in the Surya Siddhanta as in all the other astronomical tables of the Hindus with which he was acquainted. And he says that Mr. Davis concludes from this that if the obliquity diminished at the rate of 50 seconds in 100 years, then the Surya Siddhanta is at present, which is, we're talking about 1794. So at that time, John Playfair says that the Surya Siddhanta would be 3840 years old, which goes back nearly 2000 years before the Christian era. But the diminution of the obliquity of the ecliptic is supposed considerably to rapid in this calculation. According to Mayer, it is 46 seconds in a century. According to De La Grange, at a medium no more than 30 seconds. This last is most to be depended on, as it proceeds on an accurate inquiry into the law of the secular variation of the obliquity. And that variation, of course, is by no means uniform. Let us even take the mean, which is 38 seconds, and the obliquity at the beginning of the present century having been 23 degrees, 28 minutes and 41 seconds, we shall have 5,000 years for the age of the Surya Siddhanta, reckoned from that date, or about 3,300 years before Christ. That was uh, in 1794, so around 3,500 years before the Christian era which is, John Playfair actually says, is near the era of Kali Yuga. Today, we find a great deal of skepticism about the ancient origins of Indian mathematics. Well, I have just given you the proof that Indian mathematics is ancient, as ancient at least as 3,500 years before the Christian era. This paper was read in 1794. Why has it been suppressed till now? Why has nobody in the mathematical world taken due note of Playfair's findings? I leave you with this thought. In our next film, we will continue the journey through Playfair's work. <laughs>